Right now, Pittsburgh's best sports show is about to begin. Call us or tweet us. We've got things to talk about on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you, Paul. This is the nighttime version of the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call on a very busy day, a very busy weekend. So a lot of stuff happened this weekend, and tonight we're talking about a Steeler loss. Looked like they would have the game won after stopping the Ravens in overtime. And uh, once again, a fumble in a critical spot cost them the game. This time it was Juju Smith-Schuster in San Francisco. It was James Conner. These are plays that cannot happen when they do. The outcomes normally do change, and today was the case. Where the Steelers now 1-4, and four, only 5% of the teams in history who have started 1-4 and four make the playoffs. Tim Benz of TribLive.com, as well as the DVE pregame show, joins me here in the studio. He's also on the showdown tonight at 11.35. I am? You are. Oh. Well, it's a longer day for you. Cup of to coffee, have, then. At least one. Well, we have some other energy drinks if you want those. <laughs> anyway, Tim. something else there for a this second, is Bob. One, this is, well, that's another story for another day. <laughs> Cover number two. Um, <laughs> this is one of those games that, you know, you're going to look back at the end of the season. The San Francisco game was one they had control of the game, fumbled away, gave them a chance, and they took advantage. Same thing here today. This was a game I thought the Steelers had a chance to win, maybe should have won, and all of a sudden didn't. So many things to get into. Let's start with the end. The end was the fumble by Juju Smith-Schuster, and it seems like a lot of people, including Mike Tomlin, more crediting a, a tough defensive play, which it was. I mean, Marlon Humphrey did a good job punching that ball out, but that's what he does as a receiver. You're not supposed to cough it up in that situation, and he did. Yeah, and I think, are you getting at people are not giving yeah, I mean, you enough blame on this? It's just pretty the, much compared to what I saw from know, Connor and everybody else who does it. Right, and, and I think the part of the reason for that is if you blame Juju to the minds of some, I don't think this way, but to the minds of some, that's almost like a tacit admission that you're sad that Antonio Brown is gone. Now, I don't correlate it that way, but I think that's coming into play here because Smith-Schuster's had a couple big plays. He has a couple of important plays throughout the course of the year, but he has not established himself as the number one that he has needed to be for this team in the absence of Antonio Brown. And the more you focus, focus on his shortcomings, like the big turnovers, the one in New Orleans and this one, the more you are inclined to say, man, I wish A.B. was still here. And, of course, nobody really wishes that. Right. Uh, on the field, I do, but no one really wishes that big picture. No, but that was a critical play, and it happened only after the Steelers' defense stopped Baltimore in overtime. Another critical call occurring in overtime. Uh, you know, at some point, your quarterback who was in there, Devlin Hodges, had to lead a drive that had to score points. If you're going to win the game, that's what you got to do. I was just surprised that Mike Tomlin decided to defer. I would have always taken the ball because when you do, you have a chance to end the game very quickly if you score a touchdown. And with Lamar Jackson as the other quarterback over here, I would be very concerned that if I gave him the ball first, he can do something totally unexpected. Exactly, because you can do everything right against the Baltimore Ravens, and Lamar Jackson can still go 75 yards against you. That's first and foremost. Secondly, anybody, including Mike Tomlin, who is thinking that the proper decision is to kick the ball away is outthinking themselves or you're making excuses and trying to validate, rationalize Tomlin's decision to do what he did. It's never the right decision to not take the ball because you can score first if you have it. They can't. You give it away, they can score first with a touchdown and end the game, and you don't get the ball. That's never the right choice. Look, I get the logic. Four-string quarterback. The defense was playing better. Yada, yada, yada. But you know, I, I keep getting all these tweets because I've been critical of the decision, and people are telling me, well, the defense was lights out. Defense stopped them. Well, didn't stop them twice in the fourth quarter. They, no, give, they those, gave the lead away twice in the fourth quarter. They had the lead quarter. twice, and they let it get away, and that's what you're not supposed to do. Plus, I would point out, and, and listen, oh, Was Hodges defense, bad? I didn't think the, Hodges was no, bad. What was wasn't. there to be afraid of? No, he, I don't know, but also this defense, which I think has improved. They've turned the ball over. They've sacked. They've done a lot of good things. There's no question. But, Tim, right after the Steelers got back into the game with a Mason Rudolph touchdown pass on a really quick drive, five plays, 75 yards, they promptly gave up a 13-play touchdown drive, which erased that touchdown immediately. Yeah. And those are the kinds of things that I think a defense really should not do on a consistent basis. We saw it in San Francisco. We saw it again today. So that could be an issue. We have a lot to get into. We'll also talk about the quarterback situation now. That Mason Rudolph uh, reportedly is out of the hospital. But will he be able to play? Likely not, you would think, this week coming up. Although, who knows? We'll get into that and much more. Plus, your calls at 412-575-2600. You can also tweet at KD Pop at Tim Benz PGH. That's all tonight right here. On the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call, your calls are up next. 
The Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call is brought to you by Ireland Contracting, putting new roofs on Pittsburgh homes for over 25 years. Call Ireland Contracting at 1-800-NEW-ROOF.